Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Valentine's Day is coming up. Or maybe it's happening right now. Or maybe it has already happened. It's the internet. You can never tell. With Valentine's Day, the big thing is obviously the cards. I personally, I'm not a big fan of the cards that you get in the store. They just, you know, obviously they're mass produced. They look very generic. And they just lack that sort of thing. Even the, even the fancy ones that you spend a little bit more, they just still, you know, they still feel mass produced. And obviously, so I'm not a big fan. I just prefer to make my own cards. And I started making cards about three years ago. I met someone and I thought I impressed them by making a card. You know, because with me, I always thought Valentine's Day was this day where you sort of, where you sort of give a card to a person that you like, but they not necessarily know that you like them. Instead of like, you, you know, the way it is right now where most people see it as the only day where they can treat their girlfriend to a card and some flowers. Because when you're in a relationship, you can buy, buy a card and flowers any time of the day. But obviously, Valentine's Day now is more of a corporate holiday where you just, <laughs> where big companies make money. It's, it's not really about what Valentine's Day sort of stands for. At least in my opinion, you know, but let, let's just not get into that. But so I want to show you some of my, well, in this video, I sort of want to show you the cards that I've made over the past three years and hopefully get you inspired and you, maybe you'll make your own card and you sh share it with me and s so I can have a look, you know, we, you know what I mean, you know, just let's make cards instead of like buying them. And so yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's have a look at the cards. Yeah. Okay, so let's begin. There is no order to these cards. I'm just going to show you what I have, and I have quite a few. So let's let's begin. Though. So this is one of the first ones I've ever made. Uh, the balloons and the flower are I've cut them out separately. They're not. If you have a look, there they're actually cut out. You know, same with the flower. It is. You can lift it and it's all, but the bear is drawn and the happy Valentine's Day is all drawn. Then you open it up and obviously this is a, this is just a prototype. The actual card that I gave, I don't have it. I don't have any pictures of it or anything. I kind of, I kind of regret, you know, uh, not keeping any like pictures of it or anything like that. But yeah, he was meant to hold a different, like a very specific flower. I don't know. I didn't finish that drawing, but yeah. Uh, then we have this thing. Which I'm quite proud of, I'm not gonna lie. I think in the final version, the balloons were way smaller and I think there were two planes instead of one. And it did look way cooler, uh, I think. It's just a crappy, very cheesy little love note, you know. Yeah, a little bit better, a little bit more, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's so corny, it's so bad. And then on the back, you, I drew this like weird thing. <laughs> I don't know. I was, I was like, I was trying to put all the creative, all, all, all the creative ideas that I had into one, and <laughs> this is sort of what I came up with. It's a little bit crazy, but I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cute. So on to the next one. Hang on, let me just put that. On. Yeah, the next one is a little bit more complicated, as it, you know, it has this heart that you can sort of have fun with. Same thing with the flower. You can lift it up. It is cut out. It's not drawn on. Yeah, but you see, hi, will you be my Valentine? Question mark. Yeah. Uh, this is also a prototype because the final version was the mixture of the previous one and this one. I chose all the best ideas from both of them and combined them into one. And uh, underneath here, it was the name. Don't ever put a name on a card. You know? It's like one thing that I will. That's like my advice, one card making 101. Don't put names on the card because it's just stupid because then you can't reuse them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the card. Yeah, it has a nice, it's red, so it's like Valentine's Day sort of, yeah. But then when you open it up, we have the same thing. I Like I said, with these cards, they were sort of a prototype. I was work, I was trying working out ideas. So I was sort of, you know, seeing what I can do. And here we got have this sort of windows thing and obviously inside we have another crappy very cheesy letter i'm not going to read it because it's just horrible it's going to bring some crappy memories but i thought it was pretty cool i really like that love that i drew i thought, I thought it's like really funky and graffiti and it's, I, I really like it and then on the back we have this craziness i i am really proud of this drawing i don't know i that's that's the one i used on the on the back of the final thing like uh I don't remember what I put on the front of the the final card but I remember 
I think it might have been this front without the name, I think. And then inside I had, uh, I've used that, but I've used like two planes and it was, it was the same drawing, but, and then we see I used this back. <laughs> I, I don't know, I love this thing. I love this drawing. I, I think it's pretty freaking amazing. Uh, it's funny. It, it, I know it's not really Valentine's Day, you know, but I thought I thought you could sort of like get, don't get sucked into this or something. It was a little Valentine Day joke or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Like the windows, I thought it was pretty clever. You know, like I said there wasn't he was meant to hold a different flower. But yeah, next one. The next one is also a. I don't have the final version. The final version was way better. It was meant to be this bare, and. I was working. I was trying to see what would happen if I cut the eye out and see if it would look cooler. Because obviously, it's meant to be one of those things that you open up and inside you have something like. Oh, I don't know, the like what does it say? Can't you see that you're the girl for me? You're my. Ah, oh, that's some crappy thing I was working on. Nevertheless, I really I like this flower. Uh, I like these roses too. I think uh, I really like the bear, but I, then I improved it and. Because obviously it was meant to like be hugging the thing and hold it like hiding the message, and in the final version he was yeah the heart was cut out and inside it would. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. So next, it's not that much. Yeah. The next one is more recent one that I made. I've used it in my recent yoga instructor video. A little shameless. Okay. Uh. Like, wait, uh, what is? No, yeah, I'm holding it with a like. If I don't have this straw, that's split in half. Otherwise, it just keeps opening up. But yeah, I thought it was pretty. Like this one, it's pretty cool. You open it up. In here, you're supposed to write your message that you want, like whatever you want to write that in there. The back is pretty simple. Like I think it's pretty cool. It's simple but effective. Next one that I have. I've made for a birthday. Uh, it's it's sort of meant to be like a mix CD ho sort of holder thing. So you have this. I've, the the final one. I think I have pictures of it actually. Um, I'll I'll put, I'll put the pictures in the video. It had flowers all, all around the thing, and inside you have these four different drawings. This is like I said. This is not the final thing. It's just a prototype. The back. This is what it looks like. It's being held together by a sticker. It's pretty bad, but in the final version, it actually opens up and it had the message. But yeah, I, th I thought I thought I was being clever with this one. I don't know why. It just it's a pretty cool CD holder thing. It's a pretty cool idea. The next one, it's a bit of a. <laughs> this one is I made it literally last night. And it's like a transformer kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so this is what it looks. It looks it looks kind of cute. You got some googly eyes, hearts, some converse things. Then you open it up, and it's this like little walking dude. But then you open this up, and he's got like these wings, sort of thing. It's like he's happy. And then you you know, then you open it from the other side, and you and you have this sort of like it's so cute. And it says I love you. And you open it up, it says Happy Valentine's. It's this like. This bird is a little bit shy. It's <laughs> it's definitely it's pretty small. It's kind of it's really cute, you know. Uh, I remember back in the day when I was younger, I used to always wanted to have like different color. Like I wanted to have like five different colored converses and mix them up. Now I think it's kind of lame, but <laughs> we all grow up and change. So yeah, but I thought I I put that in there. I thought it's, it, I think it looks kind of cute. You can make him like walk like that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, uh, same thing with here, it's like, it's little, it's like a bird or something. No, no, I, I, I think it's pretty cool. The next one, eh, it's quite simple, very like minimalistic, it's just hearts. Will you be my Valentine? It's quite nice. On the back, there's nothing because I didn't finish it. And inside, we have this little cool drawing. I, I really like this drawing as well, I think it's pretty cool. Like the swampy thing, and on the left, you you're supposed to write whatever you want, like this little message or note or saying, you know, whatever. It's pretty cool. Next one, next, 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 next. What do we have next? Next one is. I'm not exactly a big fan of that one. It's very small and it's very minimalistic, and you know, on the back you have these lady beds that are shaped like hearts. 
this this thing was meant to open to the side. That's it's another one of those prototype things where I just didn't like. I've made this. I'm quite happy with that. I'm not. I'm not actually giving it to anyone. So, but yeah, it was meant to open to the side, not down, because it just doesn't work like that. It's just it's weird. But yeah, you're meant to write whatever you want here. It's real small and cute, and it's pretty cool. And the next one, this one, I don't know. That in my head, I had this idea where it would look like an apple like this green apple and inside it would be like I would have this pink outline and don't know it just didn't live up to the way I imagined it but in my head it was meant to be way cooler and it's just got like crap but you know it's pretty still pretty neat look at that it's, it's pretty nice you know it could be worse could be worse let's face it uh let's have a and I think this is the last one this one is, I think, the most complicated one I've ever made because it's a pop-up card. It's, uh, I've attempted it last year, yeah, there's nothing special on the back. But yeah, I, I'm quite happy with the front. I think it's pretty cool. Then you open it up and it pops up. Look, It's like 3D and it has this bun bunting thing. I don't remember how you say that, but yeah. it says, I love you. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Things around in there. You meant to write your message down in here. The tree it's, it's I think it's pretty cute. Like the bush is shaped like a heart. Although it doesn't really look. It looks more like a butt, but you know, still pretty cool. It's a nice little, you know. Ah, uh, in terms of like, yeah, I think they're pre all pretty cool. And I hope, yeah. So these are my cards. I mean, I'll show you them again. You know, this one. I think if I remember correctly, this one took me like an hour to make. I did make a prototype that was like a little bit ugly. I think I have it. Yes. Yeah, here, here is the original. It was, it was a bit of a mess. This thing, it, like the idea was there. I was still working out the, how the pop-up thing works, and still pretty cool. But obviously, this is like way better. It's. it's it's just not way nicer. Uh, I think it took me like an hour to make. It's not that. It's not that hard. This one took me like twenty minutes to make. Very easy. Uh, this one. This one overall, like the drawing took the longest because coloring in and you know all that. I think that took like an hour just now on its own. But everything else half an hour. Uh, this one. I don't know forty minutes, maybe less, because it's there's not that much going into that one this is like this is the first prototype and it, I, i'm quite happy with what how it turned out it's pretty cool it took like like 40 minutes this one the final one well this one technically took me a couple months because i was still working on how it's gonna look like it took maybe like an hour hour and a half like the actual cutting out then coloring in cutting out all the flowers in the final one and doing the back that will, it will open up it was quite a bit of work but nothing extremely Donding or anything like that. This one, uh, this one took quite a bit because I think it took like an hour. Because for me, the hardest thing was trying to figure out how to make sure that they all line up when I put them together. Because obviously, I cut out different colored uh, cardboard and card basically, and I wanted to make sure that they all matched. Like when I put them together, when when they fold, that they would all sort of connect. It, it's, it's still I still messed up bits and pieces like it's still not perfect but it's the best as I, I'm ever gonna make it so but it took like yeah an, an hour maybe a little bit more uh, these things they took barely any time they look how crappy I cut like I drew the line but I never actually cut out uh, like, like it's <sighs> not happy with that one but they only took like half an hour to make and I used one what did I use I used staples to, to do to stick the hands. That's, I hate using staples because they're ugly. Yeah, yeah, it's just not a big fan of that one. Uh, these, these on the other hand, they took at least two hours each because they had so many drawings. It's the drawings that take so much time. It, it's just not the cutting out, not the not, not making the card. Making the card, pff, half an hour, maybe, maybe tops, maybe like 45 minutes or something. But the drawings, doing drawing this, like all the little trees and all those little things 
they, that just on its own takes an hour. Same with a bag. It just takes so long to do all these drawings. But at the end, you get this great result. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I would use these as album covers for my, for my own band if I, if I had one. But yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not a, I don't know what the hell did I do with this giraffe that some of the spots look uh, different colored. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, these are the cards. So if you'd like to see a tutorial on any of these cards, I can probably make a video about that. I can't say that I will do it anytime soon, but I can probably give you like a written tutorial or something. But yeah, they're very easy to make. They're not that complicated. I'm not that good. I, I you know, I'm seeing people do more amazing stuff. Ah, uh, my stuff is just it's decent. I think it's I think some of it is cute. I'm I'm quite proud of some of these cards. But yeah, nothing special. So thank you for watching, and I hope your Valentine's Day goes quite well. Hopefully, you make a card, give it to someone, and they will like you back. But just remember that just because it's Valentine's Day doesn't mean you won't get rejected. You'll still get rejected. So, well, thank you for watching and until next time. Bye.